Hello guys. Hello guys. How are you guys doing? So, I know each one of them. So, starting from Kevin. Kevin has been a Kevin has been with us for a long time. Uh, so is Sakshi. So is Ronit. So everybody here. I will give you a brief introduction. I would ask them to give them a brief introduction about the journeys, and then we start with the basic questions that we can ask them. So I would like to start with Kevin. Kevin, tell tell us a bit about yourself. I would love I would love you, love to know more about you. I know more, a lot about you, but I would love the audience to know more about you. Uh, well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kevin Zinkai. Um, I started off initially as a flight attendant, and somewhere around, I realized that I think I'd do better off at content. I took a major gamble at that, and it did work out pretty well. So, all thanks to them. Just by the way, they've been incredibly supportive. Been with them for a year, and uh, once you get into the field, you start to realize that there's a lot more than just hitting record um, in regards to how you de deal with brands, how you become a brand itself. So, yes, TGB has been doing great. <laughs> Kevin has been a great resource, guys. He has, he's, he's the person who's always available. He does great content. Kritika, over to you. Hi, everybody. My name is Kritika Avasti. Uh, I'm from Delhi. Uh, I've been in Mumbai since 2015. Uh, and I had no plans of becoming an actor. It just happened by fluke. Um, I've studied from DU, I did bachelor's in commerce, then I did bachelor's in law, and one fine day out of nowhere decided I want to act. And uh, to be honest, my parents were, uh, they thought I've gone crazy, um, and they thought it's a women fancy and a, it will, you know, go away over time. Um, anyhow, so many years later, but I, what I strongly feel is you always end up being where you have to be and how you have to contribute to the society or to, to the world. And I'm sure there's a higher purpose that why I'm an actor and I just can't wait for it to unfold. And having said that, I'm also very spiritual, I'm also a healer, so I always try to incorporate some kind of healing or some positive energy through my work and interactions. But thank you. Thank you, Kritika. Over to you, Raghav. Um, hi, my name is R.J. Raghav, I am Kanpur. And yes, uh, it happens that when you reach the point, you reach the point. So I was in college and I had a lot of fun with the radio. Honestly, I had one R.J. and I said, what do you do? 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 So, at the end of two, I was a radio jockey. I was in 13 years of radio jockey. I was in different different cities, different different bands. But at the end of two, content creation. Now I'm creating content and yes, <laughs> Shubham uh, is very supportive. I guess मैं अच्छा content बनाते हुए भी अपने लिए profitable नहीं था. But Shubham ने रास्ता दिखाया कि okay, हाँ कैसे कैसे यू नो आगे बढ़ना होता है. That is very important I guess. So yes. I discovered Raghav on a radio only. So he has a, he has a great voice. He was doing radio when, when I first met him. And he was very funny on the radio. And that's when we decided he can do great content also. And he has done an amazing job. Miss Keswani, over to you. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Sakshi Keswani. Um, people know me as being Suku. So I am a painting artist. All I wanted to do is to paint, but then I realized that there is something more which I can do. And I just do not want to paint all my life. So I started doing content creation like during lockdown. And my journey is like from nothing to something and hopefully to everything. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Love that, love that. Ronit. Hi guys, first of all, oh my god, I don't want to say anything in front of people that I will tell my journey or everything. So hi, I'm Ronit Ashra and I started at 12. I started from Dub Smash and Vine and what not and after that I went to TikTok and I went to, from TikTok I went to music, musically I went to TikTok, TikTok I went to Instagram. My life is struggling in my life, which I can say that I don't know what to do. भगवान ने जो दिया दिया and अभी I'm pursuing acting as मतलब मुझे after content creation my next step is acting and yes I have been creative वैसे बचपन में मैं drawing drawing करता था तो मेरा वहाँ से ये सारे interest आया बस यही है thank you thank you so much आत्मन hi guys I'm आत्मन देसाई I make memes and reels and my Instagram is called आत्मीम that's why 
and um, I'm a computer engineer and like every other engineer I did everything but engineering and uh, after engineering I did music production for a year then I worked as a digital marketing executive then as an influencer marketing executive and now finally as an influencer myself and uh, yeah that's pretty much it it's been up and down but it's all going pretty great thanks to I can, I can feel him because I'm also an engineer. I did everything aside engineering in my career as well. So I can That's basically you. every engineer. Basically every yeah. engineer yeah. ever. In India specifically. In India, in yes. So, yeah, so guys, I'll go forward with the questions, what I want to ask them, which will provide value to you guys as well. Uh, I would want to start with Raghav. And uh, what I want to ask him is, you have been a, you have been a RJ, you have been a host, you have spoken at multiple conferences. How that in particular help you to start your content creation journey and how it has helped you till date to be in present at this conference and speak with so much confidence. Um, I think that time is all about it. And as you meet different different people, it is very observation very important. Like I was in TED Talk in uh, Jodhpur recently. And we were talking about that. So I got there and the uh, story of my story, I will tell you, but there are some things that I can extra add on. And then the observation was that when I went into the room, ke andar gaya, so, as I kept my hand on the gate, I opened it, so 10-12 people were standing outside of 7-8 feet. I said, what do you mean? He said, let's eat food. And I thought, let's take it and take it. And uh, that whole content, one thing, two, three things, that whole content I added in my TED Talk. So, this is how, uh, I mean, what happens when it happens, right? हाँ, observation and वहीं से जो मिलता है वो add on करते जाते हैं and I think ये चीज experience से बहुत आती है and credit goes to radio वहाँ से बहुत कुछ सीखा है तो that's why मैं चीजें add on कर पाता हूँ मुझे ऐसा लगता है you're very intuitive also राघव so that's why you're able to add things a lot very intuitively to your reels and a lot of things that you do in life I would like to ask Sakshi Sakshi you've done great content over the years when I wanted to understand, when you start changing your content and when you, when you try new things, how does that feel? And uh, how has that journey in particular been? How do you keep so consistent in bringing new content to the table and how has that helped you? Okay. So basically, I am bored from a lot of things. I think that one thing is done, what next? Like, because it's, it's a quote that you have to be better than before. आप आज जहाँ पे हैं वहाँ से कल आपको आगे अगर आप नहीं जाओगे तो पता नहीं चलेगा ग्रो क्या ही कर रहे हो आप एंड बीइंग स्टैगनेंट कि एक ही टाइप की चीजें बार बार करना ना इट्स वेरी बोरिंग फॉर मी आई हैव टू ट्राई डिफरेंट थिंग्स एंड आई थिंक ट्राइंग एंड बीइंग जिद्दी कि और नेक्स्ट क्या इसके बा� creating multiple characters, like doing aisa mooch daadi laga kar, like doing acting and then to proper, like being a mother when I'm acting, being a wife when I'm acting, being a child when I'm acting. So, um, when, you, when you move forward, you have to grow and move forward. Agar aap ek hi cheez kar kar aage bad rao na, aap khud hi thoh time baad bore ho jao ge. So, it's very important, like um, where you are right now, tomorrow you have to be above that, you have to be forward that. So that keeps me motivated going and that's keep my rush, rush, internal rush, like, come on, what next, what next, what next? And when you always ask this question to yourself, now what next? Yeah. That's, that's something which everybody should, I guess, crave for. Ki ye ho gaya, ab iske baat kya, ab iske baat kya. Because if it's going to happen all the time, then you'll get bored very quickly. We have to keep that fire alive if you want to get it in life and you're perfectly keeping that fire alive. Atman, so you do multiple pieces of content where you become a character, you try multiple pieces of content. I really want to understand how you deal with creative blocks because the kind of content you do can come with multiple creative blocks because every time there has to be something new and smart that has been treated out to the public. So when you tell me how you deal with creative blocks, many brand managers, many people in the social media industry would also understand how to take their content forward in a better way. Where because we we also need to understand that creators are the same things available as brands. So why creator pages work better than brands? So this is something I would like to understand from you. Yeah, um, so like I said, I'm an engineer and um, I've always had a very confusing 
journey personally. Um, first year into engineering, I knew I didn't want to <laughs> pursue that, but um, I've always backed myself um, to come out stronger. Um, uh, as far as create, creative blocks are concerned, um, it's basically, like I personally have this cycle now that I've understood since I've been doing content full time since two years. So now I've understood there's a cycle like, you, some day you'll just wake up, you'll get like a million ideas all together, high quality. Some days you'll wake up, you'll have no ideas straight for like 10, 15, 20 days. But then it's important to keep yourself fresh um, in a mental state and um, back yourself with the type of content that you know you want to provide. And um, that's why I've tried building characters which more often than not work well. And whenever I go through a creative blog, I just try to back that and bring that back to give like high quality content and not let the creative block reflect to the audience. Okay. That's how I try and maintain Thank it. you so much. Uh, having said that, everybody is saying that we try, need to try new content, we need to try new things. Uh, we, that's how we deal with creative blocks. But there's one guy here in the panel who does similar content and has been doing it for three years and has been really consistent in doing that piece of content. So Ronit, tell me, how do you do, do that content? How do you keep the audience still crazy for your content? how every piece of your content still gets more than 5 million views in, on all, all platforms combined and how everybody that sees your content is still hooked. I think my um, is that you need a change in the content. Mein to, it's not always that I have one, like my different genres of content. Ka. To, sometimes it is interviews, sometimes it is, you know, SaaS Bahu material and what not. So after that, I try to, I mean, now it will be like boring, because I'm doing copy-copy, but what will I do with copy-copy? It won't be fun. So I add some small elements to it, like I'll put some vegetables in my mouth, or I'll put some vegetables in my mouth, or I'll change some small elements to it, which is why maybe people can interact with me. So that's the one thing. और हाँ मुझे कभी-कभी ऐसा लगता है कि यार कब तक ये करूँगा लेकिन फिर मैं कुछ पेंटिंग का कुछ डाल देता हूँ ताकि मैं अपने आप को खुश कर सकूँ कि मैं कुछ डिफरेंट भी कर रहा हूँ हाँ परफेक्ट केविन दैट्स आर्टिस्ट इन मी या बट रॉन इज़ अ ग्रेट पेंटर इस वेल मतलब आई डिनोट डिनोट � and I'm, I, I went to Ronit and asked, bro, can you do something different? I need to really close this campaign. I need to really increase, increase the billing this month. He said, yeah, I can, I can paint. So I, then I went to the brand and convinced them, oh, he can paint, he can paint better than he can act. So that, that, was, the, <laughs> that, that was the idea. So yeah, uh, Kevin, what I want to understand from you guys, bro, is that uh, you do so many collaborations with different people. Uh, have you ever done any collaboration with, with a person that, that was super fun, turned out to be super great, and it just goes, changed the course of your content creation game. I'm sorry, I didn't get the last part. Uh, it changed the course of your content creation game. Oh, um, definitely. Um, I remember when I was first starting out, like I had like uh, this uh, creator friend who just randomly met me on Instagram by the name of uh, Rishab Rai. And that was back in the days where, um, Honestly, I, I wasn't even open to do brand deals. I used to think like, you know, I don't want to sell things on my Instagram profile. Whatever I get from my YouTube AdSense, that's how I'll try to survive as a creator. I was so wrong because you can't, you cannot survive on AdSense. It's impossible for anyone to sustain on AdSense. Uh, so he was the one who actually uh, guided me and told me ki, that you can make a lot of money off Instagram by just doing brand deals and you'll be able to sustain yourself. So I believe uh, for anyone actually uh, getting into the field, um, it's good to have somebody that already knows a little bit about something because when you first get in as a creator, you don't know what agencies are, you don't know how do you even approach brands, you don't even know how to reach out to them, you don't know how do you even land a collaboration. So if you have somebody that's already in the industry that maybe is like has some experience, it's definitely a great help or else you're just going to be lost and anyways there's a lot of pressure in regards to the co kind of content that you need to keep producing let alone then to close brand deals on your own it's going to be very difficult so that definitely collaborating with him definitely changed a lot of things for me so yeah thank you uh Kritika, uh you talk a lot about pranic healing you, you talk a lot about uh, spreading positive vibes so we want to understand that how do you in your content spread positive vibes uh, around Instagram or to your, to your audience in particular and how brands can do a similar thing when they create, start to create content of their own. Um, I feel as public figures we all have this responsibility what kind of content we are creating and what, what is our intention and what message we are 
giving out with our content? Are we influencing positively or negatively? And I feel um, that having said that, uh, because I'm so spiritual, I'm always, uh, uh, when I'm creating a concept, I always go back uh, and think what is my intent, what I want to give out, um, what emotions I want to tap into through my this content, and what people are going to gain through it. Is it going to bring a smile on somebody's face, or it is going to be, you know, uh, is it going to awaken somebody in some sense or the other? Uh, and having said that, uh, I always do like a small prayer before I <laughs> put out my uh, content or any, uh, whenever I'm going on set to act, um, just to remind myself what value I'm creating here or what is my value system and how I can incorporate my value system through my work, the way I talk or the way I meet people. Because again, having said that, uh, you attract your own tribe. And I forgot to mention this earlier. Uh, so I'm really thankful to Raghav because he introduced me to Shubham uh, in, like, in a point of time when I was looking for an agency uh, who I can resonate with at a personal level. And I feel they all are such great people and they welcome you with an open heart. And they will actually sit down with you and figure out if you have any kind of, you know, problem going on and go beyond work and not just, you know, sticking to business. Hi, hello, yes, this campaign, blah, 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 this is done. But beyond that, and I want to create the same value system through my content, through my work, through my uh, relationships, be it professional or personal. So, I mean, I go for the holistic approach um, just to, you know, spread something, uh, influence people positively in whichever way it is. It's very important for any agency in particular to form these relations with, with their set of actors, with their set of creators, because we're just not managing them professionally. We are managing a lot of things for them. Uh, we are managing their day-to-day -day lives. We are managing their day-to-day -day, their problems, like especially because Ronit was 17 when he joined us. So we had a lot we had a lot to say where he will join college in particular will he go to managing college managing the pressure uh, managing managing the pressure in particular uh, so next question will come to you sakshi uh, see you you do uh, very good quality content and sometimes when uh, when different uh, different trends come and uh, as a content creator you can't take them up how do you feel about it and do you feel it's really important to take on, say, trends in particular? Like right now, the Moi Moi trend is going on. And uh, I, for a fact, know that on your profile, the Moi Moi trend cannot work. So uh, how do you feel about it? And how do you gaze the fact that I won't be able to do the trend even if it can garner like a 40 million views? So how do you, how do you do take that forward in particular? Basically, I hate following trends. I can't follow trends. I think I will make trends and people will follow me. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's one approach. Yeah, so basically, um, when I create content, I should be proud of the content which I'm making. If I don't feel satisfied with the content which I made, I will never post that. It has to, it has to satisfy me first. If I don't like it, then my audience will not like it. क्या पता वो मेरे प्यार में बोल दे कि अच्छा है बट मुझे पता है उनको लगेगा ये पहले वाला ज़्यादा बेटर था लाइक आई सेड बिफोर ऑलवेज बी बेटर वर्जन ऑफ योर सेल्फ दैट्स द ओनली थिंग यू विल बी यू विल बी देयर यू विल बी यू विल बी व्हाट वी से वैल्यूड या so, anybody I'd just like to add one thing in regards to what uh, Sakshi just said over here because I do something similar as that even I don't follow trends because what I have noticed personally as an audience is that when there's something that goes viral, that's all that you're seeing on your For You page. Now constantly I'm only seeing Moe Moe, right? Mm -hmm. I get annoyed personally even if it's some video that actually happens to be really nice because it's so overdone, you just feel like you'll just get lost in the crowd in that sense. So that's one of the reasons even I generally choose not to follow trends. So. I agree to you. But Kevin, you, you personally turn very boring stuff into very exciting stuff on your profile. Yes. Uh, how does that work in particular? Because sometimes trends can also do that. Like they, they can change a lot of boring stuff into very exciting stuff. And when we talk about brands in particular, they sometimes hop, want to hop on the trend. And there we face a lot of friction as an agency because, uh, because creators don't want to do a lot of trends in particular when they are happening. So how do, you, how do you change boring stuff into exciting stuff without hopping on the trend? 
So for me, it's um, even if it's a trend, I try my level best that I add as much as my own personal element into it, so that my um, it's not so different from my audience as well. Like they do have like this callback value because I work around with characters and everything. So even if I do like a trend, like they have that callback factor anyways. Ki, oh, it's this character that is playing this right now. So uh, for me, it worked out pretty well because the way I designed my content was I created characters and now my characters can fit into a lot of different briefs, uh, whatever it is, I can fit them into it, whether it is me trying to promote uh, anything in that matter of fact. So I think even if you're doing a trend, it's quite important for you to um, invest as much as personal uh, material that you can add into it as your content so that it feels more authentic towards you rather than you just following something that everyone is doing. So yeah. I just want to add one last line. Ki agar trends mein like 40 million, 50 million aa bhi gaya, but jo sab kare na, wo kho jayega bhiid mein. Aap logo ke dimag mein, dil mein jaga nahi bana paoge isko. You will never change anything. So you can get views, but wo jaga nahi mil paegi, wo kyunki kho jayega sab mein. Kyunki itne trends, trends kyu bante hain? Kyunki everybody is doing that. So you will never make a place. But, but one more thing, Atman, you can add here. How do you how do you keep up with what people like? Like suppose none of you here hop on trends, uh, like but if people are, are liking something, how do you keep up with that? I think it's it's very personal also in that way. Like a certain set of audience likes what I do, certain set of audience likes what other people do, other creators do. So it's it's I think it's important to read your own audience. It's important to know what your audience likes, what your audience doesn't like. And um, also like coming to trends, um, I will differ a little bit. What I do with trends is I don't follow trends the way they are followed. I just try to give it so a different touch. Um, like Kevin said, a personal touch in a way. Um, not exactly mimicking what uh, thousands of other creators are doing. And um, that, that again connects to this, that you know your audience, you know what your audience will like, you give it your personal touch, and you just keep them engaged. Because like being loyal to the audience in a way. It's also very important to just provide audience what they need. You cannot just provide them anything. Yeah. Uh, because that, that is only keep them audience for loyal for a long time. And, that yeah. and relevant. Of, yes. Yeah. Being re we are in the business of keeping people relevant. So yes. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, uh, how do you use technology these days? We hear a lot about AI, VI, VR, uh, what all is happening in the industry. So has it helped you in your content game? Has, it, has the script writing become easier? Has the brand campaigns become easier after the advent of AI or chat GPT? Has it helped you in any way possible? Um, so with the ever uh, evolving technology, like if you uh, take it back to the time when Snapchat was like the only app that actually had stories and now everyone has adapted to it, like with, uh, you know, like TikTok being initially one of the first apps, or actually if you go back to Wine being one of the first apps that actually introduce, uh, introduce uh, short form content, and now every other platform has it. So the same thing I believe with, uh, even with like um, AR, like augmented reality and uh, virtual reality as well, uh, eventually we'll all have to adapt to it as creators, like now or never. When it comes in regards to chat GBT, yes, I have used chat GBT in regards to write scripts and uh, things, uh, but I believe it needs a little more time in regards for it to evolve still, but I believe that is definitely going to be, you're going, that's something that we're going to see maybe in like the next year or so because of how fast it's evolving to a point where now we have uh, uh, these uh, creators that are not even like real, like they are just like uh, an augmented reality creator that you have. So definitely these things will come in, like if you think about like YouTube for a matter of fact, like when it first started it was just like a uh, platform for just like sharing videos. Now you see anything and everything on YouTube. You see videos of hydraulic press crushing things. So it's like you give you give uh, human beings a platform, and basically like they just start thinking about more and more in regards to like you know what it could be like done. Like Instagram for that matter was first only photos, and now like Reels has taken over. So you never know with uh, the entire augmented reality and um, AI coming in like what content creating is going to be in the next three years. You just have to constantly keep adapting. And you have to evolve, you have no yes. option. If you have to be relevant, you have to evolve. So with, with changing times, we have seen, we have seen move from posts to reels, videos to reels. Now oh, everybody here is on, everybody here is on Instagram and they have adopted to broadcast. Uh, so I see Atman having a very, very creative outlook on, on its broadcast, so is Sakshi. Uh, what are your takes on broadcast channels? Uh, how do you, what do you think uh, it has changed for you? And uh, 
we see the lot of content that comes on broadcast generally never lands up on the profile. Yeah. So, uh, sh share some, shed some light on that. I, I see my broadcast audience as my elite audience in a way. Um, they get a more um, deeper insight into my personal life. Personally, that's what I do. Like for example, my ex-girlfriend got married the other day and I, w I, I can't put that out on Instagram. I can't put a reel out of it. I can't do a moe moe for it. <laughs> so I just ended up putting it on broadcast. And I saw that. Yeah, <laughs> you did. You were on my broadcast as well, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, and then there are people laughing, there are people crying, like just with you in a way. So I think it's more, it's to give a more personal touch to the audience. Um, to like the six, seven thousand members that I have on my broadcast, I know tomorrow if if I don't, if my Instagram, for example, crashes, touch wood, it won't. But if it does, then I know these people will always be out there looking for me somewhere or the other. So they're my elite audience in a way. That's how I see broadcast channels. What do you think, Sakshi, about the broadcast channel? Uh, as Atman said, that it's more of a personal touch. It's more of like closer family. Also, you can't reply. So. Huh? <laughs> so you can't reply. That's the best thing, actually. Ki I will. Baki I will. Sab chup main akele chup. Baki sab chup se main bol rahi and you can't say anything. So it's the best thing. Like it's my family, where uh, they are not allowed to speak. Only I am allowed to speak. Just listen. <laughs> That's Instagram also. People, people can people reply can to the stories comments, and all. Yeah. yeah. They also put comments and stuff. No broadcast. Yes. Even yes. Put whatever. Broadcast. Uh, yes. Move. Show them. Yes. If or to what do What do you feel about broadcast, Kevin? Um, I feel it was really great for them to start this because that definitely gives uh, you, uh, you a sense of community like when it comes to a creator and plus like we definitely do post like things that we don't generally post and we know for a fact that the audience that is following you in your broadcast are interested in anything and everything that you did, just want to know about you. So in regards to community building, I think it's great and I believe content creating has always been about having that set community and uh, I think there will be more things that will be coming in from Instagram's uh, and uh, like that will be more oriented towards community building. So broadcast is, I think it's doing a great job. The, when it comes to community building, broadcast has done a great job because now brands have the way to reach directly to the people's inboxes. Like suppose, if, even if you want to reach the product link to, to the people, you have directly have the access to reach to creators audiences. And that, that's why it's a great tool medium for community building. And uh, it has led uh, like multiple, it has just opened us for a new medium to sell to brands frankly. So it's a great thing for me, frankly. So also, it's like a, it's like my gang. I'll ask them to comment. They'll go and comment. I'll ask them to like my post. They'll go, yes, done, done, done. So it's like my gang. I, I totally get it. Yeah. So Raghav, tell me a great story, like uh, which uh, which you have done 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 in the past, and uh, it has okay. led you here. Uh, that uh, we you you always have great stories to tell all the time. So tell us a story which le which leads you here today. Okay, um, so I am making a trend of trend. We were talking about the trend, so I was normally doing this show and I made a video and then it went viral. So I was like, I was in the offices of people's WhatsApp status in the office. And I was saying, no, no, we know what you have to do. So the story changed from here. So I think that when you said that someone so when we were working on the radio, I think it's the same thing. It's just the difference between the sound and the sound. And now it's that we know how to wear clothes, how to wear clothes, if we have to execute this content, how to do this content. We were talking about it, like with everyone. There are also creative blockages. It was the same with me with radio. Now it's also the same. So now it's the same with me with my friend recently. उसके एक पुरानी फ्रेंड ने उसको कॉल किया और बोला कि बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट काम है और मिलना है एंड उसने टर्न्स इनटू लाइक वो नेटवर्किंग मार्केटिंग तो वो बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग किस्सा है तो मैंने उस सी पे वीडियो बनाया एंड वो वायरल हो रहा है अभी तो तो ऐसे ऐसे भी चीजें रियल लाइफ से आती हैं one thing I want to understand from Kritika, everybody here has become a creator first, then they want to become actors or, the, or on the way to become actors. Mm. Uh, Kritika became an actor first and then she became a creator. Mm. So how is that journey in particular? How is uh, is different from these journeys? And is this something that you would want to change in particular about that journey? 
Um, so, um, I started uh, acting in Mumbai in 2015 and at that time there was not this culture of uh, influencer marketing so much. Uh, at that time, uh, as per my understanding, there were three platforms. One was your television, then there were ad worlds, then there was films and OTT, sorry, four platforms. And um, by 2016 end or 2017, then there was this new platform emerging, social media. Boom, this, that, and I was like, wow, what is happening? And I was just so comfortable in my, uh, my acting career because uh, you know why you walk in, you're an artist, um, you get a vanity van, you get a script, there's a whole uh, laid out plan for you, you get food, there's a director, there's a producer, everybody's doing their own job. Uh, and in 2018, I remember, uh, we were shooting for engineering girls, and so there was Barkha with me and um, Sejal. And at that time, Barkha and I, we both were actors, and Sejal was the only content creator influencer. And we would just look at her, it's like, oh my God, she's writing her own scripts. She's editing in the middle of a shot. She's like, my uh, YouTube pe bahut time se koi video nahi gaya. my audience will drop. And we used to be just looking at her like, achha, okay, this is like some other world only. And dude, she was like a one person army. She's writing her own script. She's editing, she's shooting. And uh, in the middle of, you know, uh, our shooting schedules, wo bolti thi, can you shoot for me? We were like, yeah, sure. And uh, honestly, we didn't even know the camera angles because our job was to, uh, let ourselves completely forget ourselves completely and become another character. Now here, an influencer has the freedom of creating their own characters, being their own director, producer, everything like a one-person army. And I used to be look at her like, my God, yar, kitna mehnat ka kaam hai. Oh God, I was like, oh God. Little did I know I'll have to start doing that myself because the trend was changing. Oh God, I was so, uh, I was so. What do you say? I was so pareshan in the beginning. Kya hai? Ye mujhe kyu karna bar hai? And you know, uh, uh, and when I changed my management, so uh, this my friend, her name is Kriti, and I'm Kritika. There were a lot of jokes about that also. So she used to say, "You need to create more content. You need to get this like that." And I'm like, "Mujhe ye sab nahi karna hai. Mujhe aadat hai. Sab kuch ready hai. Main bas jaungi." Oh, uh, so yeah, it took me a while to figure all of that out. And compa comparing to that to now. Uh, now influencers also have a team, they have a videographer, photographer, editors lined up, everything. Uh, there are people to create, help you create content. Us time pe ye sab nahi hota tha. Tab sab ek insaan das pandra logo ka kaam karta tha. So I, I feel as an actor I was really inspired from the influencers and I feel uh, I know, I, I mean, I hope it's correct that influencers back then, before the influencer marketing started, I think they were inspired by the content that they were seeing, the actors that, okay, this person has performed so well, maybe I can incorporate that in my content and give it like a revamp and create something new out of it. So I feel it's all, uh, it's also self-sustaining because we get inspired from influencers, influencers get uh, inspired from movies, from actors, from uh, so it's become very self-sustaining. I have an open question for all of you, having asked all these questions. Uh, see, there's a new breed of content creators coming in the industry. Everybody wants to become a content creator today. People see Sakshi in Alabad and they say, I want to become like Sakshi Kiaswani. Similar is with Atman, they see him, see him in Gujarat and everybody wants to be there, Atman, this when it comes to content creation. How do you guys not get tired of it? I mean, how, how do you guys not get tired of content creation in particular? And uh, what advice would you want to give to new creators who are entering just right now, maybe at 5,000 followers or 10,000 followers to keep it going, ki, that it will happen, it, the following will grow, the likes will come. So how do you keep it going? Uh, who, who, anybody who wants to start? Sakshi. Okay. So, um, when we were not there, we were also very close to us. So, we came, so we will come back and come back. And, as we have the content, like 5,000, 6,000, it's literally not a difference. Just create content, like create content. And I want to add one thing. Like she said, ki, uh, hamare paas, uh, like we have a team like production or ye wo, but still we want everything under our control like we want to see the editing how it's done no the angle is not right do it aisa, aisa. and still like actors ki, like just they just have to perform and then okay relax now my job is done now their job starts but but like here it's like 
I have to sit with the editor, I have to sit with the videographer, I have to sit with the DOP, everything should be like how I planned. So it has to be like that and uh, like for people who are just starting creating content, it's like they have to really rush to things because everything is changing so fast. Like, I think the whole world is changing so fast. I don't know if I am feeling this way or everybody, like, everything is changing so fast. Like, every day there is new technology, it's everything. It's an ask moment, bro. It's an ask moment. <laughs> so, yeah. So, they have to adapt things very quickly because AI is coming and AI will capture everything. So yeah, if you're just starting creating content, just create content, just go with the flow, like learn new things, see what is going on around because jo hum kar rahe the, wo aap ab nahi kar sakte ho. you have to find different way, you have to find a different path of your own. Jahan se hum chalkar aaya, wo aapke liye nahi hai. Can, can I add something to this? Uh, I absolutely agree with uh, her. Um, I mean, back in the day, an actor would not have uh, the access or the authority to say, can I sit for the edit? Can I see this and that? Because that was director's call. And uh, unless you're an A-list or unless you're somebody like Ritik Roshan, uh, Katrina Gaev, Shah Rukh Khan, absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, and in case of the content creators, it, it's so liberating that you can sit for that. You have a true, call. True, no, true. this is not, this is not going with the ethos of my, uh, my script or my concept or what uh, what I stand for as a brand. So it is like I've uh, found this new freedom. Ki like wow, I have the power to call shots now. So and everybody likes power. Kevin, I would want to know what's the fun advice for creators because I think you you will hear on the panel give the most fun advice or Atul give the most fun advice on that. Ki how to how to deal with this? Most fun advice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the most fun advice would be. Uh, I would say don't don't follow exactly what other creators are following. Try initially just try to do something new. I I, I do believe that a lot of people say this like when you're in a content creating field, uh, this might be very debatable for a lot of people. A lot of people say you need to be authentic. You should be authentic. You should be authentic. I feel like as and when you start growing, you start losing your authenticity because if I'm being very honest, the real authentic me if would get cancelled on the internet. It would do. It would straight up. But I, uh, I see your close friends story. <laughs> <Yeah>. Me too. <laughs> so as and when you grow, initially you're, you're initially you're starting out. You don't you don't have an audience. You don't have a name to be ruined. So you try anything and everything. But eventually you come to a point where you are becoming a public figure. You need to adhere to certain community guidelines starting with. Then you need to maintain an image. Then you need to understand whether your content is going to be brand friendly or not. So. It's all up to the creator in regards to how much authenticity they are willing to give up and what is working. Because let's say Bhavan Bam, for example, like he is an amazing singer, but what works for him is BBK Wines more over anything, right? So if he wanted to truly be authentic, he'd be like, no, I want to be singing. So you have to also consider what are the things that are working for you in that sense. So I'll tell that to creators, do what works for you. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll just say, if I can engineering, I can do anything else. I am just going back to engineering again and again. Having said that, that uh, having said that, if we close friends groups, we will all get cancelled from the internet. Like all of us here on the panel would get cancelled off the internet if, yeah, if yeah, anybody sees our close friends groups. So yeah, yeah that's, that's one take from the panel. I yeah. think the clock is running. Uh, so any closing words that you guys want to have, Ronit? So, first of all, I think that the content creators who are coming now, they will try something new because I have seen that all the people who are trained, I mean, I like trends especially because I think that that is what gets you on meme pages and that is what makes your content grow. But you adding something new to it, something of your masala, your taste to it, will only I mean, get you forward. And the second thing is that, I think that this will be a good thing, this will be So I think that it is not a la la land that everything is going on from you. There are going to be times when you're going to be depressed that, oh, shit, my content is not going on. You have to get up next day and you have to do it. So that is for the new content creators that are coming. And yeah, that is, I mean, that is my time. That's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. Look, this is a business. Every thing is a business. And especially social media is a whole business. You enter in any business, first check yourself. पैशन है अगर आपके अंदर डेली डिप्रेसिंग माहौल के बाद भी कोई ऐसी चीज खोज के लाना और उसपे कंटेंट बनाने का अगर वो अंदर से आग है 
تو پھر کودو پھر کچھ نہ کچھ ضرور مل جائے گا کوئی نیا راستہ جو پہلے کانٹینٹ کریٹرس کرتے رہے اس سے الگ آپ کو ضرور مل جائے گا بٹ وہ پیشن اگر آپ کے اندر ہے تو ہی مل پائے گا آپ کرنے کے لیے کر رہے ہو تو وہاں تھوڑا مشکل آئے گی آگے تھینک یو گائز تھینک یو فار سچ اے فن سیشن اینڈ بینگ سو کینڈیڈ اباؤٹ یور آنسرس آئی ہوپ دا آڈینس انجوائڈ اٹ آئی ہوپ ایوری بڈی وڈ کین گین سم تھنگ فرام اٹ آئی تھنک ایٹ لیسٹ وی میڈ ایٹ لیسٹ فائیو نیو کانٹینٹ کریٹرس ان دا روم ٹوڈے اور سم بڈی ہو ول لسن ٹو اٹ سم ویئر ایلس ول ول گین اے لاٹ فرام دیٹ تھینک یو گائز فار ہیونگ اے سیو اینڈ اوبر ٹو یو میم تھینک یو سو مچ